Good evening, Living Waters. And this is our time of prayer together. Well, our prayer today is from Syria. Let folks get online here. I'll be waiting for folks to get on. Beautiful weather yet again, another beautiful day. All right, and as always, if you do have prayer requests, please send those in to me and uh, We'll get them added or comments here as we pray together. All right. Hello, Diane. Let us pray. Compassionate Lord, open to us the door of your mercies, and do not embarrass us as we have put our confidence in you. Deliver us and save us from all distress and intolerable temptations, as you are the Savior and Redeemer of those who believe in you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us because you are our trust and our hope. This time we lift up prayers for Nanette, she continues to heal, as we also pray for Ida, Susan, Mary Kay, Frank, Lorraine, and Don, we ask for prayers of healing for all of them, for all, for all who have lost loved ones, for Bob and Dot, and all those, so we're seeing more cases in the South especially, we pray. Pray for Ellen and Anthony as they battle tough times in their life. Pray for all cities that begin the work of long-term reconstruction and healing of many um, levels of their cities. As we work to rebuild, to root out the evils of racism, and work for justice for all people. Continue to pray for those who are working diligently on VBS this week. We give thanks for their gifts being used to proclaim the gospel in this way. We pray for the church. We pray for the world. There's so much need. We pray for our leadership that they make sound decisions going forward. We ask for God to support those who face economic strain and other uncertainties of this time. God, deliver us and save us. We put our trust in you. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this time of prayer together. Hope you have a wonderful evening and enjoy the nice weather.